On Rosebury Avenue, six to one Learjet, seven to one easy to back from six has moved Noble Lord, nine to one Furzan, Mac Morris is a 20 chance, Sally's Twins are 25, and Mazamet is the 33 to one outsider of the eight runners. The three flights down the hill, and McMorris out jumps Noble Lord at that. Noble Lord on the flat goes on again from McMorris. Shooting light on that one's inside. Right on the inner is Learjet. Those are the leading four from Rosebury Avenue in five. Mazamet is six. Sally's Twins and Furzan seven and eight as they come towards the next. And again, another fast jump by McMorris on the outside. Noble Lord still there on the inner. Just in between them is Shooting Light. Learjet hunts them up on the inside. Rosebury Avenue on the outside, closely followed by Mazamet as they take the next. And they're all over that one safely. No more than about eight lengths between first and last as they begin to make the climb up the hill at the far end of the course. And Noble Lord still just about in front from McMorris in second place. Then up there on the outside goes Rosebury Avenue into third. Learjet is four. Shooting Light just back into fifth place, followed by Mazamet, Furzan and Salis Twins as last of all as they take the flight going up the hill. A long run now towards the final two. And Noble Lord, who's made just about all the running now within half a length of Rosebury Avenue on his outside. Shooting Light has made progress again to go third. Learjet up there on the inside in four. Just in behind these comes Mazamet. Furzan also beginning to creep closer as they begin to run down the hill, turning left-handed. And a couple who've dropped right away are McMorris, and behind that one is Sally's twins. So they come down the hill, and this leading bunch is very tightly grouped. Noble Lord still just heads them, but Rosebury Avenue and on the wide outside, shooting light, looking very dangerous, and Learjet hasn't been popped a question in behind them in four. They're followed by Mazamet in five, then a gap to Furzan, further back to Sally's twins and McMorris. As they begin now, the charge for the home turn, and Noble Lord is running on really gamely in front. Rosebury Avenue is having to be pushed along but Richard Dunwoody is sitting ominously quietly on the outside on shooting light and these three going clear of Mazabet. Inside the final quarter mile now, one more flight left to jump, three in line, Noble Lord yet to be headed in the race but shooting light on the stand side is going the better in between them is Rosebury Avenue as they come now towards this final flight Noble Lord, shooting light now moves up to make the challenge, Rosebury Avenue is being pushed along, Mazabet is running on him behind them but Richard Dunwoody asks shooting light to quicken up into the final flight and he goes a couple clear and shooting light is in command at this final flight he hasn't jumped it very well but he's got a ton in hand as he comes up the hill and shooting light is striding clear with 100 yards to go it's shooting light it's going to be close for second noble lord gamely sticking his head out to deprive rosebury avenue but knowing about the one in front it's shooting light noble lord rosebury avenue and mazamet an honorable fourth Easy win there for shooting light owned by Mr J Brown and trained at Bristol by Pat Murphy, written by Richard Dunwood. He's beaten Noble Lord for the Rob Buckler and Brendan Powell's team and Rosebury Avenue Peter Savile's runner.